Hi babes, welcome back. So we're jumping straight into this tutorial. It is a woof tutorial. As you guys can see, I'm using that uh, highlighting stick from Seattle London. These are so good, especially for like my no makeup days. I love these. I'm basically just going to use this as a primer just to kind of make my face look more dewy and more glowy in the end. And then I'm spraying my face with some Fix Plus. Once again, I just really want to look super dewy for this look. And I'm going in with some foundation. I'm just going to set down a base uh, for the look. By the way, this foundation is only like $9 or $8 or something, and it is so good. No flashback. It is just super, super good. The only bad thing I would have to say is the smell kind of smells like soap, so I'm not a huge fan of that. But overall, I'm super, super, super freaking impressed with this foundation. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm not sure what shade this is, but this is from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to use that where I would usually use concealer, and then I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm going to be cream contouring my face. I do cream contour on an everyday basis pretty much now just because I love the way it looks. It just looks 10 times better. My makeup looks 10 times better. But for this, I'm taking that concealer and I'm going to use that to cream contour. I don't like applying it directly onto my face. You guys know I like using a brush and then applying it onto the face. It just blends like a dream. It blends so much better. It looks so much better. But for this look, it doesn't really matter as much just because as you guys can see, I'm like super, super bronzing up the face. Like I usually wouldn't add as much like on my forehead. Like I don't even need that much but I'm adding so much everywhere just because this is a look I want and of course I'm going over with the beauty blender and then I'm going to also contour my nose as well And before we move on, I'm going to powder down the face a little bit, just under my eyes so I don't crease, and I'm going to clean up that cream contour that we did earlier. Then for bronzer, I'm taking this MAC bronzer. I have been obsessed with this bronzer ever since I got it. It is just so good. It looks good on every skin tone. I love using it on clients. And once again, we want to look super, super bronzed for this look. Usually, I would not bronze this much, but for this look, it's going to look super good in the end. I'm like extra bronzing everything. And then when I get down to the jawline, I'm going to kind of cut off the jawline a little bit. Um, it's just going to look more... I don't know. It's going to look 10 times better with this look. So I'm going to kind of cut off the jawline a little bit instead of kind of trying to make it more defined as I usually would. And of course, contouring my nose. Now when I get to baking uh, under the contour to kind of clean it up, I'm going to cut the cheek how I usually would and then I'm making a little line downwards just like that and then I'm going to make another line going all the way across a little bit above our jawline just because I want to kind of cut that off a little bit. It's just going to look better in the end. And now onto the fun details that are going to make this look come together. I took a black eyeliner. This one's from Anastasia. And I made two lines um, from the top of like my temple, like above my ear, all the way across to like the end of my nose. You guys can see what it looks like. I did it on both sides. And right here what I'm doing is I took uh, my Anastasia brow wiz and I'm creating uh, like little lines, longer ones at the top. And then as I get lower, I'm going to feather them out. I went back to the black eyeliner just because this is going to look darker. It's going to make everything look more defined. And I'm creating more defined lines. So more lines just here and there. Wherever I see any sparse areas. 
And where we added those lines, I'm going to create kind of like a shadow. I'm taking that contour shade right there and I'm just using that uh, on top of the line and blending it all the way downward just to create a shadow with that. For our little woof nose, I'm basically going to go on each of the nostrils and create like a half circle. And then I'll connect that together and just get like half of the bottom of your like half of the button of your nose if that makes sense like you guys can see it doesn't really help out with my bad explanations and after you have the outline for the nose i'm going to start to fill it in and i didn't fill in like the entire like bottom of the nose because at the bottom i'll just go in with my finger and like kind of blend out the edges and like diffuse the edges a little bit and then after you have that filled in make sure you just set it with a black shadow just so it doesn't smear and get all gross and stuff and get all over the place Now for zebras, we're going to be using some soap. I used to do soap brows all the time, but uh, this technique that I'm showing you guys or like how I'm doing my brows in this video isn't how I used to do them because this is like a little bit too dramatic for me. Um, this is just for the look. It's going to look way better for this like wolf look that we're creating. Basically, I just took the soap. I wet the soap a little bit, ran my spoolie in there, and I'm going to make the brows as flat and straight as I possibly can so the front of the brow I'm gonna brush it upwards the uh, middle of the brow I'll brush it all the way to the side and then with the end of the brow that's what I'm trying to focus on like getting flatter and getting as straight as I can so the end of the brow I'm just kind of brushing it all the way upwards so just keep brushing your brows through with the soap and get them as flat and as straight as you possibly can fill in the brow I'm gonna be taking some dip brow and I'm gonna go under the brow and just kind of make that like straight outline that we need I'm sorry this is gonna go out of focus but I'll try to explain it my best that I can and right there as you guys can see I'm blending the product all the way in and just kind of making sure that it all blends same thing on the other side and then I'll even go in with the dip brow and the brush and I'll fill in any sparse areas that need some product or like need a little bit more on there and then after I do that of course I'll go in with some concealer and and like some brow gel just to kind of make them a little more defined and make everything just look cleaner. For a shadow, I'm going to pack all of that color on the outer part of my crease, making sure to tap off the excess and also dragging it outwards. And then I'm slowly going to start blending that color into the crease. Same thing with this next color. I'm going to pack that color onto the outer corner and then I'm slowly going to blend it into the crease a little bit. Just make sure you keep this color lower than our previous color. So instead of doing a really defined wing for this look, I thought it would look better if I did something more smoky. So I took the black shade from the Tardius Pro palette and I did like a half uh, wing. Like as you guys can see right there, I'm kind of diffusing everything like towards the middle to make it a half wing. And then I'm going to continue using that shadow to blend, uh, not to blend, to fill in that wing. And then I put some pressure like on the side of my nose and I'm creating a little line going from like my uh, tear duct to like Going near my nose, if that makes sense, super, super hard to explain this. And then for the lower lash, I just took the same shadows that we had used on top, and I'm going to use those to smoke out the lower lash line. Create another little line, uh, same thing, put pressure on the side of your nose, and I'm connecting this line to like the lower lash line shadow. And then now moving on to the lips, I am lining my lips, as you guys can see right there. And 
then I went in with this liquid suede from NYX. I don't know what the color is. It's just a really natural mauve shade. It's super, super pretty. And then after that, I just set my face, added some lashes off camera, and that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe down below if you guys have not already. Turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you guys so, so much.